Uh, there's a little news out there from the 2020 campaign trail. Former Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz has suspended his bid for president. Yeah. Yes. He, uh, he, he suspended it. Just like we suspended the family dog to a nice farm upstate where, <laughs> where he can run for president, too. <laughs> You'll recall that Schultz is the billionaire testing the waters for a run as a centrist independent. And among all the 2020 candidates, I'm pretty sure he is one of these four guys. <laughs> Unless those are all guys who helped me at Men's Warehouse this morning. <laughs> when Schultz announced his potential run, the response was, to put it in Starbucks terms, a room temp low foam decaf, who cares? <laughs> but he hasn't officially given up, though he did fire most of his campaign staff in a move that an aide called realigning the team for the next phase of his exploration. He has got the corporate lingo down. I've been proactive in my streamlining due to the lack of synergy between me and having a Frappuccino's chance in hell. <laughs> but Schultz does have a good excuse for taking a break. In a campaign email, he said, Dear friends, friends, plural, let's not get ahead of ourselves, Howard. <laughs> but uh, go on. I unfortunately experienced acute back pain that required me to cut my travel short. I underwent three separate back surgeries today. I am feeling better, and my doctors foresee a full recovery. Well, that's great news. Although I do have a hunch how he got hurt. Guys, have you seen my polling numbers? There's only one dignified way out of this. Quick, throw me down a flight of stairs. <laughs> but... But in light of these news, I do have my own announcement. Dear friends, as of today, I am officially suspending caring about Howard Schultz. <laughs> I have not discussed this with my family or with my spiritual advisor. I tried to, but no one wanted to talk about Howard Schultz. <laughs> but there are things uh, people do want to talk about. For instance, it's Pride Month. But not everybody... Yes, thank you. Thank you. That... That's a lovely response, but not everybody's proud that it is pride, because the Trump administration has barred pride flags from embassy flagpoles. Makes sense. They need that space for the new banners that say, now accepting election interference. <laughs> You see, under Barack Obama, pride flags were allowed to fly at U.S. embassies, but last year, the rule changed, and they needed to request permission from the State Department. This year, all requests were denied, including ones from embassies in Israel, Germany, Brazil, and Latvia. You can't deny Latvia the joy of flying the rainbow flag. I mean, for Pete's sake, they don't have color there yet. <laughs> Their Skittles ads just say, taste the gravel. But here's the thing. Not fair. Great I'm sure it's a lovely country. That's not fair at all. It's a cheap but effective joke. But here's the thing. The embassies are rebelling because the rule says technically you can't put the pride flag on the flagpole. So instead, they're putting it on the facade of the embassy in Seoul <laughs> through light projections on the embassy in New Delhi and in Nepal. Embassy staff wore rainbow colors and held up pride balloons. Hell yes! Because that is the best. Finding ways to break the rules is what pride is all about. Remember, this all started with a clash with police over their oppressive anti-gay tactics. And that spirit of rebellion is now so fittingly captured on the T-Mobile Our Pride is Unlimited floats. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. All